यू विल नॉट बिलीव एग्जैक्टली एग्जाम के एक दिन पहले भी मैंने मैंने उसके वीडियोज भी कुछ लिए वो और उसका यंगर ब्रदर दे यूज टू प्ले वीडियो गेम एग्जैक्टली टुमारो इज दी पेपर मेरा टेंशन बढ़ता था मेरा स्ट्रेस बढ़ता था कि यार कल एग्जाम है और तू आज वीडियो गेम खेल रहा है <laughs> So the paper before before that was SBL. So mm-hmm. I had yeah. just faced okay. failures. I was I had the drive that I want to do something mm-hmm. more to uh, balance that out. Yes, so in the paper of advanced taxation, mm-hmm. I got uh, all India rank two and uh, globally ninth rank. मैंने सोचा कि चलो इंस्टाग्राम डिलीट कर दिया तो व्हाट्सएप है व्हाट्सएप डिलीट कर दिया तो स्नैपचैट है स्नैपचैट डिलीट कर दिया तो लिंकड इन या तो फेसबुक है आई देन स्विच ऑफ माई मोबाइल फोन ओनली फॉर फोर एंड हाफ मंथ्स पूरा एंड मैंने पूरा फिर पढ़ाई पे ही ध्यान दिया सो आई जस्ट एलिमिनेटेड ऑल द सॉर्ट्स ऑफ डिस्ट्रैक्शन हाई एवरी वन वेलकम टू कॉन्वर्जेशन विद कुशल वंस अगेन Today it's going to be a super super inspiring episode for all of you as we have called the youngest ACCA not only of India but of the world and he is going to share entire experience of his entire journey ki okay 17 साल की उम्र में ACCA कैसे complete किया किसको ACCA करना चाहिए इसके fees कितने होते हैं इसका advantage क्या होता है and all the things about ACCA are going to be covered in this podcast in fact I am super grateful that his dad has also joined in with us who is the chairman of audit committee of NABARD and he is Also going to throw a lot of insights about the entire examination of ACCA. So thank you so much, Urvish and Dishan, for joining. It's an absolute pleasure to host you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thanks. Perfect. So maybe uh, we can start off with a quick round of introduction of yours, and then we can take this forward. Hello, everyone. My name is Dishan Shah, and I'm 17 years old. And I completed all the 13 papers of ACCA in the previous attempt of June 2023. And as of now, I'm an official ACCA affiliate, and I'm still in 12th grade. Got it. Uh, hello everyone and myself uh, C A Urvisha. Basically, I am a chartered accountant as well as I have done doctorate. Uh, recently completed with uh, director's development program of Harvard Business School, and uh, I am on the board of NABARD as well as I am the chairman of audit committee NABARD. So I am thankful to uh, Kushal for inviting both of us today, and uh, we'll share our journey together in what manner it can be started, it can be ended. so it would be a good uh, learning for others too absolutely in fact the reason i thought that i'll call both of you is because you know like a lot of parents would also be watching this yeah. and i would want you also to throw some light in terms of how do you ensure about upbringing and how do you ensure that he is staying motivated and all of that so that is also something which is crucial we can cover that at the la- latter part of the conversation but first question to you dishan like how did you complete at the age of 17 i mean like people are struggling to decide kya karna hai 17 mein they are figuring out ki acca karna hai ya nahi karna hai and you have finished all the 13 levels of acca by 17 how was it possible so to complete such a uh, in such a young age i had to start early so i'll tell you how i how the initi- it's initially started so uh, i was in 8th grade when uh, uh, i was pretty good at the subject of science and uh, i did not like the subject but i was good at it so uh, everyone thought my fathers my teachers everyone thought that uh, i will pursue science as i go on and i uh, get older but as my father is a chartered accountant he wanted me to be at least aware of the subjects in commerce so i just started learning accountancy just just like a language uh, there was no pressure i was just learning it for fun and i fell in love with it i was really interested what uh, more there is to it other subjects of the corporate world like taxation and finance so i kept studying it for a while and then he introduced me to this course that is acc and uh, he was aware of the fact that it can be pursued at such a young age so he asked me if i wanted to give it a go and then i decided to give it a shot so that's how it initially started and uh, well right now i've completed it <laughs> got it and uh, isme i have one question here so a lot of people at least i've also done acca by the way so maine to ye ca ke baad kiya tha and after ca i had to give four levels yeah. nine, uh, like out of 13 nine were exempt and yeah. char papers dene the yeah. to isme 17 tak kaise ho gaya in the sense ki aisa koi dusra route tha jiske through ye hota hai aur uh, what exactly like uh, can people also finish it by 17 yeah basically uh, normally what is a tendency in commerce that people usually start after 12th and be it be ca be it be accf they decide their further journey and what i was observing that uh, the students of science they start from 8th grade grade for iit jwe and uh, neat preparation so i was wondering what is there for commerce and uh, uh, 
as i as he said that i wanted him to touch accountancy in some way otherwise in a natural course he would have selected science only so uh, eventually we were searching for it and uh, we got uh, acca that can be started early through one route which is known as fia FIA stands for Foundation in Accountancy. That is a diploma which is being offered by ACCA, and there are three papers. Now, which are these three papers? The same three papers which you otherwise get in ACCA. In ACCA, otherwise there are thirteen papers, and uh, the there are three levels like knowledge level, skill level, and professional level. As you correctly said that if someone is a chartered accountant, then uh, nine papers are exempted. He would just have to go for professional level exams. So, if someone is starting from the first paper, there would be thirteen. so he started with fia route and he completed three papers there are three papers in fia now based on that if he is getting a, a diploma certificate now they are giving you option that after completing this diploma you can enter into acca and uh, for that uh, uh, it's a requirement that you just have a diploma certificate which he was having what is the best part that these three papers are the same three papers which you otherwise get in acca so eventually you land up for skill level directly so uh, i i remember he was in 10th standard when he started his journey of a skill level and uh, one by one each paper he was cracking mm. so I, i would suggest that if you want to start early uh, in commerce uh, i have i i search for many options like ca cfa cpa but uh, uh, where eligibility criteria uh, where everything was after 12th grade hmm. so this some, something that could be started early that was acc on got it one quick question here so yeah fi route jo hota hai anyone can give after their 10th not even 10th i would say that he appeared for the first paper when he was in 9th okay and the first it. paper was accountancy and uh, accountancy first paper where even i was also a little bit worried kyunki agar early age ke andar agar kisi ko failure aa jata hai so it is possible ke shayad uska confidence down ho jaye hmm. but uh, he was confident uske teachers bhi confident the so he gave the first paper and that is a paper which is known as fa foundation in accountancy okay. which is a first paper of acca he scored 89 at that time and we found that now this can be done so we kept a target of acca got it makes sense uh, dishan how did you decide that you have to do acca only and not any other course and uh, how did you take a decision at such a young age with the help of your dad of course ki 9th mein decide kar diya ki mujhe to yahi path pe jana hai Okay, so I just just as I just mentioned that I am I loved accountancy and I wanted to more know more about it, so I decided that this is a course I can pursue right now. So let uh, I should try go with that because other courses they cannot be pursued at such mm-hmm. a young age. So uh, other than that, I would just have to learn accountancy with mm-hmm. no. Uh, future prospects till I uh, complete my twelfth. So rather than that, I decided I should just start right now. and there's a possibility that i'll be done by 12th which did happen got it and isme like uh, fi jo wala jo route hota hai so isme 9th mein let's say i decide i want to do acca yeah. so anyone who's in 9th can then apply via that fi route right yeah 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 even got in it. 8th i would say if you are okay. in 8th standard but that would be too early okay. what i would suggest that in 8th standard you start learning accountancy for a year you start learning accountancy if you like accountancy then you can think of studying further because acc mein teeno level pe knowledge skill hmm. or professional teeno level pe accounts aata hi hai so anyhow you will have to deal with accountancy so the first condition you should love accountancy got it for the purpose of entering into this acc makes sense and uh, can you also help us understand what exactly was the total investment in all these 13 levels in terms of the cost of the course plus the cost of the classes which one can expect i would say that uh, uh, in any day commerce is cheaper than science and uh, uh, it is not more than 4 lakh rupees got it this it also includes, includes the coaching e- fees coaching fees exam fees okay. registration fees everything it is around 4 lakh rupees on a higher side okay got it and what is the average package that one can expect after becoming an ecca uh, for him i am thinking of further studies but otherwise yeah. i would say it depends upon a city where you mm. stay if you are in a mumbai it would be around 8 to 10 lakhs okay. if you are going into Uh, cities like Ahmedabad or somewhere, it would be around six lakhs. Got it. And uh, this entire uh, investment of four lakhs will reap you a salary of let's say six lakhs in a city like Ahmedabad and yeah. eight to ten lakhs in a city like Bombay. So the ROI here is justified, of course. And speaking about global recognitions, also like ACC is also globally recognized. Yeah, right? because so, uh, uh, there is always a question regarding it. So ACC is there in one ninety countries of the world. so uh, if anyone wants to search that what are the possibility i would simply recommend you just need to google search jobs for acca hmm. and there is an official platform 
where you need to select your continent you need to select your country mm-hmm. you need to select your job profile what you are looking for and jobs are everywhere so mm-hmm. in that way it's a global chartered account right makes sense uh, so dishan coming back to you again so let us also walk down through your strategies for preparation of these exams uh, can you help us understand in terms of uh, how you used to stay motivated and uh, how did you encounter any failure if in case you uh, encountered any at your point in life okay i would say the biggest challenge was balancing my school and uh, the acci yeah. studies and i was so young so i had no idea how to balance all this mm. so i had the guidance of my father and my mentors so they helped me a lot and i think through that challenge i learned many things like the importance of time management how i can manage it uh, the importance of uh, uh post mortem as well uh, uh, not only during giving the mock tests because that is very important to ensure you pass but also as you just mentioned i did fail uh, did fail once in one paper that was sbl i did not fail by a huge margin it was just two marks so that was a little blow and uh, how did you cope up with that failure like how was your mindset at yes, that point the in time the day that the result came uh, the result comes at 4:30 in the morning indian standard time so So a few hours after that, before Dad went out for work, we sat down and we started discussing the reasons for failure. We came up with a list of many. There were few reasons like not going through the examiner's report or not using the official resources on the website. I decided that the next time I pay, I'm going to be there. I would have gone through all this and I would be at the level where I can pass. But one reason which I would like to mention here would be. excessive use of uh, social media mm-hmm. uh, not social media typically i did not have instagram or twitter or nothing like that i i had whatsapp mm. so he told me that i think uh, you might be using it a little uh, little extra and uh, i knew that that was the case so i decided that i would uh, delete whatsapp till i complete my all the papers that would be in 6 months if everything goes right so i decided to take that step and it went the way it was got planned. it i can resonate uh, to this very well because uh, mere sath bhi aisa hi hua tha when i was giving my ca exams i used to be addicted to social media and mm-hmm. then matlab ek bar instagram khol liya to 15 20 minute kaise chale jate pata hi nahi chalta hai mm-hmm. so maine socha ki chalo instagram delete kar diya to whatsapp hai whatsapp delete kar diya to snapchat hai snapchat delete kar diya to linkedin hai ya to facebook hai mm-hmm. i then switched off my mobile phone only for 4 and a half months pura and mm-hmm. maine pura fir padhai pe hi dhyan diya so i just tell you all the sorts of distractions isme wo economics jaisa hota nahi hai ki if all other factors remain constant <laughs> i can do this and i can do that so yeah. that is not possible uh, when you when you want to achieve something in your life right. so baki distraction jo hai aur that is that was the one of the reason i was waiting in fact still i can recall that day when we were discussing all the reasons of failure uh, he didn't speak about the whatsapp but i was knowing that was one of the reason so i said is that the reason he said a little bit i said that was the major reason mm-hmm. and eventually the good thing he decided to uh, not to use it further till the time he completes all the uh, 13 papers yeah i think that kind of self discipline is very important if you want to let's say achieve a particular thing uh, also like uh, can you help us understand uh, what is the frequency of this exam in general and uh, when did you clear the levels like at one point in time how many levels you gave uh, so the first four paper they can be given whenever you want they are they not fixed at a fixed intervals you can decide when you want to give them but after them whenever you want as in like specific months or on demand. demand okay on demand yes. Yes. but you have to give them a notice of some yeah, yeah, or yeah. that so how much is that notice a yeah, week's notice oh okay got it and this is online or that is online yeah okay got it so after that all the papers they come at quarterly intervals mm. so i would uh, i started giving just one paper per uh, attempt mm. and uh, speeded up towards the end i started giving two papers got it so and, yeah and what is the usual frequency quarterly in terms of which months exactly uh, basically that is uh, in the month of uh, march they keep june they keep september and december got it and mm. uh, uh, in case at skill level uh, towards end mm. after completing out of six papers of skill level in knowledge level there are three skill level six and then after there are four papers mm. at professional level at skill level he gave four papers and then after he said that i would wish to go for two hmm. so eventually he gave last two papers of auditing and fm probably hmm. and uh, he cleared both the papers but then after probably we committed a mistake he was uh, thinking that now it's uh, that easy so eventually at professional level once again he decided to go for two papers hmm. where one of the paper was spl as he mentioned that he couldn't clear 
but along with that AFM was there. Mm. So AFM he could clear, SBL he couldn't couldn't mm. clear. So my suggestion would be that if you are not in hurry, you should give for one paper each quarter with a Got good it. good level of preparation. Got it. And out of all these thirteen levels for you, which was the most uh, easiest and which was the most difficult for you? Easiest I would say would be the starting paper FA mm. because. That's the basic level mm. of knowledge, and the diffi- most difficult would be SBL. Got it. Can, would, can you let it, let everyone know what exactly is SBL and what so kind of questions SBL are asked? SBL is basically the subject of management. Yeah. What's um, the full form of SBL? Uh, strategic businessman, uh, strategic business leader, mm. and it's the subject of management. Okay. So the ho- the whole paper comprises of just one case study that is around twenty pages, and it's just uh, one case study, four to five questions worth hundred marks. So the paper is of four hours, and it basically requires you to have that viewpoint of how you'd be expected to work when you go and work in a firm. And I was I did not have that experience nor that knowledge, so I had to develop that uh, by going through many case studies and looking at people solving the answers and how do they think when they're appearing. Hmm. Because in such a such a paper, there's no right or wrong answers. There's yeah. many different answers possible. You need to think creatively yourself. What could be the answer? Right. So I did not have that thinking capacity. Right. And SBL, I think it's more like uh, where you are asked a lot of practical questions yeah. related to uh, business management and all. Like I remember, I was asked a question on drafting the minutes of this uh, meeting yes. and sending an email to the board, and uh, we had to draft an entire email. So that was something that was very practical. I used to enjoy doing it. I did not study a lot for that, but mm-hmm. I enjoyed uh, writing that paper a lot. That was the only one which was of four hours, yeah. and other uh, papers were of three hours, three is what hours. I remember, yeah. right? And uh, just one quick question to you, Urvish here. So, how did you, how did you ensure uh, this kind of an upbringing as a father? Like, uh, what you ensured throughout his childhood, and uh, how did you shape him up, shape him up in a manner where he is also sincere, he is also dedicated. A lot of parents have this question: How do we do our upbringing? Basically, one uh, one thing which I believe for this generation that don't keep them free <laughs> because yeah. they do they won't do anything constructive. Mm. They will start doing something dist- destructive. Mm. So, in one or other activity, you need to engage them, and the most constructive activity that is academics. Mm. So, uh, we we were thinking that if you are going for science, obviously you will be starting early for J W E and mm. need. But if you are not going for science, if you are going for commerce, I will not keep you free. Mm. So in in one or other way, I wanted to keep him busy. The fruits outcome may may come later stage. Mm. But if you are keeping anyone free, eventually, specifically in commerce, there is no such content I believe for eleventh and twelfth standard. So yeah. you get a lot of time. So how to utilize that time? So mm. it should be utilized in a right direction. So yeah. the bottom line was like uh, to keep him occupied in some way. and that's how we we decided that yes he can go for uh, this acca mm. apart from that time management uh, yes that the way in which in chartered accountancy it requires it's not the exam of any any individual candidate it's the exam of the whole family so every quarter he was giving exam next month he was getting result so there is and i haven't, I haven't seen that he was any time stressed maine kabhi dekha nahi subah 5 baje wo uthao lekin mujhe neend nahi aayi hai us case ke andar उसे एग्जाम सेंटर में देर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट इफ समन इज बिलो 18 दिस एग्जाम्स आर बीइंग कंडक्टेड बाय ब्रिटिश काउंसिल सो देर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट दैट वन पेरेंट नीड टू अकॉम्पनी कंपलसरीली सो आई वाज गोइंग फॉर फॉर द द प्रोफेशनल लेवल एग्जाम्स एंड ही वाज अंडर एज सो फ्यू ऑफ द चार्टर्ड अकाउंटेंट्स दोस वेयर अपीयरिंग सो दे वेयर नोइंग मी सो दे वेयर आस्किंग आर यू गिविंग दिस एग्जाम आई एम सेइंग आई सेड दैट आई एम हियर फॉर माय सन एंड नॉट फॉर मी सो बट टाइम मैनेजमेंट वाज द की एंड he was strictly following what his mentors were saying hmm. and uh, it's not like that he was not enjoying one example i can share with you that uh, uh, he gave his board exam uh, the 10th board exam and that was that ended probably on 29th of march and on 6th of june uh, there was a paper of taxation of skill level and uh, he wanted to go for trekking Hmm. so he requested me that this trek is from 14th of may to 24th of may hmm. and on 6th of june you have exam and recently you have completed your board exam then after he started learning taxation so i kept certain condition that by the 11th of uh, may if you are doing uh, we made a chart in fact basically if i being very frank with because the parents would listen so we made a chart that is an academic chart and where he used to tick the things what he has done in a day 
और एवरी डे इवनिंग आई वॉज नॉट आस्किंग हिम दैट क्या पढ़ाई किया तूने मैंने उसके लिस्ट में लिखा था कि उसको एक्स बुक करना है वाई बुक करना है अलग अलग जो भी पब्लिकेशंस है वो उसने वीडियो लेक्चर्स देखना है उसको होमवर्क करना है उसमें से तुमने क्या किया उसके देर आर ट्वेंटी फाइव चैप्टर्स से फॉर एग्जाम्पल सो दैट इज़ वर्टिकल एंड दी हॉरिजोंटल देर आर सिक्स कॉलम्स सो दैट इज़ वन फिफ्टी नाउ आउट ऑफ वन फिफ्टी यू हैव अ टारगेट टू कम्प्लीट दिस वन फिफ्टी टेक टिल एलेवेंथ ऑफ मे विल सिट ऑन एलेवेंथ ऑफ मे अगर ये हो चुका है तो मैं तुम्हें ट्रैक के लिए जाने दूंगा नहीं हुआ है तो नहीं जाने दूंगा उससे क्या होता था एक स्ट्रक्चर्ड अप्रोच आता था कि इतना मुझे करके जाना है अगर मैंने इतना कर लिया तो फेलियर के चांसेस कम है एंड इट रियली हैपेंड ऑन इलेवेंथ ऑफ मे ही शोड मी दैट सारे के सारे मेरे टिक मार्क हो चुके हैं अब मुझे जाने दो एंड फोर्टीन ही वेंट फॉर ट्रैकिंग फॉर इलेवन डेज ही केम बैक फिर से वो रिविजन और वो सब कुछ जो भी था सो इन अ वे ही वॉज बैलेंसिंग एन्जॉय भी कर लेता था और मेरा एक कंडीशन रहता था कि आप एन्जॉय करो लेकिन आपकी प्रायोरिटी एन्जॉयमेंट नहीं होनी चाहिए आपकी प्रायोरिटी पढ़ाई होनी चाहिए मैं हमने सुबह पूछ के जाता था कितने टिक लगेंगे उसने बोला मुझे आज मेरे चार टिक लगेंगे मैं सपोज शाम को छः बजे आ चुका हूँ आ चुका हूँ उसके चार टिक लग चुके हैं यू वोट बिलीव वो छः से लेके बारह बजे तक अगर वो वीडियो गेम खेलता था मैं खेलने देता था योर जॉब इज़ डन यू हैव फिक्स योर प्रायोरिटीज इफ इट इज़ डन एंड यू 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 विल नॉट बिलीव एग्जैक्टली एग्जाम के एक दिन पहले भी मैंने मैंने उसके वीडियोज़ भी कुछ लिए वो और उसका यंगर ब्रदर दोनों दे यूज टू प्ले वीडियो गेम एग्जैक्टली टुमारो इज दी पेपर प्रोफेशनल लेवल और एक और बात जो मुझे नहीं पसंद ये सारी नहीं पसंद आने वाली बात है <laughs> मेरा टेंशन बढ़ता था मेरा स्ट्रेस बढ़ता था कि यार कल एग्जाम है और तू आज वीडियो गेम खेल रहा है इन दी इन इन द स्टेट ऑफ गुजरात देर इज ऑनली वन सेंटर एग्जाम सेंटर सो दैट वॉज एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ मे बी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स टू वन आवर और उसका फर्स्ट एग्जाम से ऐसा था कि मैं साथ में कोई भी बुक नहीं लूँगा I said that it's one hour. Within one hour, you can study a lot. And when we say obviously you need to reach in time, so you almost uh, at home two hours before you leave. No book is not taken in hand. You go to the center. You are studying there. I think that why are you not studying there? And uh, that was giving us a little bit of stress. But that was his technique or temperament, whatever it may be. Hmm. But he was saying that I have done my best. Tha, but I have done my best. 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 But I have done And we used to make three different types of planning. एक एग्जाम के पहले जो आपकी पढ़ाई जो चलती है उसका प्लान होता है जिसमें यह टिक मार्क आता है सेकेंड अ डे बिफोर एग्जाम एंड थर्ड दैट इज विद इन थ्री आवर्स कुशल यू वोट बिलीव वी आर गिविंग मोर फोकस ऑन प्लानिंग जो मैं आप बताना चाहता हूँ कोई भी प्रोफेशनल कोर्स हो सी ए हो ए सी सी ओ हो या सी एफ ए हो स्टूडेंट्स पढ़ते हैं प्लान नहीं करते हैं सो इफ यू प्लान बेटर 50% परसेंट बैटल यू विल विन इट्स राइटली सेट नो फेलिंग टू प्लान इज लाइक प्लानिंग टू फेल या ट्रू प्लानिंग तो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अभी लास्ट जो एग्जाम उसने एस बी आर का दिया था वी यूज टू फिक्स अ सीक्वेंस कि कौन से सीक्वेंस में तुम पेपर अटेंड करोगे तो उसने बताया था कि मेरा सीक्वेंस इस एग्जाम के अंदर टू वन थ्री फोर है एंड इन दैट सीक्वेंस आई विल अटेंड हम ऐसा भी डिसाइड करते थे तीन घंटे का पेपर टू आर थर्टी मिनट यू कम्प्लीट एंड देन आफ्टर यू ऑडिट योर पेपर अब मैंने उसको लास्ट सेंटेंस वेन आई वेंट टू ड्रॉप हिम द लास्ट सेंटेंस वॉट आई सेट टू हिम दो यू हैव मेड टू वन थ्री फोर सीक्वेंस आई नो दिस प्रोफेशनल एग्जाम वेरी वेल शायद दूसरा नंबर का क्वेश्चन बहुत डिफिकल्ट आ सकता है तो ऊपर ऊपर से पढ़ना अगर तेरे को लगता है कि इसमें कुछ भी गड़बड़ है तो छोड़ देना एंड इट रियली हैपन इन अ सेम वे द क्वेश्चन टू वॉज रियली डिफिकल्ट He immediately shifted to question one, three, four, and then after two. Hmm. So he could survive. So it was a part of. ये plan भी नहीं था plan का backup था. Right. कि अगर आपका plan भी अगर कुछ गलत जाता है तो आपको उसका backup आपके पास available होना चाहिए. Correct. So we collectively with his mentors, otherwise teachers, हम बैठ के planning को ज़्यादा focus करते थे rather than just keep on studying, studying, studying. Right. एंड ए सी सी के वेबसाइट पर बहुत रिच रिसोर्सेस है जो स्टूडेंट्स अगर यूज़ करते हैं तो एंड इट्स नॉट अ टेस्ट ऑफ योर मेमोरी आई बिलीव इट्स अ टेस्ट ऑफ योर कॉन्सेप्चुअली प्रैक्टिकल ओरिएंटेड एग्जाम एक्सेल पे वर्क करना है वर्ड पे वर्क करना है एस बी एल के पेपर में पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन आता है सो दे वॉन्ट ए ट्रू प्रोफेशनल एक्चुअली 
So, uh, Dishan, like uh, your dad mentioned about the resources which are there on the ACCA website. So, what are some resources that you used in order to clear all these exams? So, I th- the best one I would say would be they give out a debrief mock every uh, before every attempt around 15 days before that, and they give the solution for that that they work through it. So, the uh, examiner is solving it. He's talking about how he's going to solve it, his thought process, and I think that is the most important thing. Mm. Uh, if you do that, then your success chances are going to go up really high. Except for that, there's examiner's report of the past papers, the past papers themselves, mock exams as well. I think that would be sufficient, but there are many more other resources. So where can people find this? On ACCA website yeah. directly. Mm-hmm. Got it. And uh, one quick question, Urvish, like when you said that he also failed in one level of SBL, how, how are you uh, reacting to that? Like as a parent, what was your reaction and how did you ensure that he is not feeling demotivated and ensuring that he's coping up after a point in that time? That was a tough task. Uh, I believe two uh, papers were given AFM SBL. A day before result, I said that there are three possibilities. You pass both, you fail both, you pass one. I said that we'll celebrate in all three situations. It's not like that it's a failure, so my life is black and white. And uh, and truly, I wanted him to fail at some level in this journey. Then why, only, why is that so? Then only you will come to know how to bounce back. Mm. If you are simply going, just going. I, I heard somewhere in the Australian army, when they want to pick some for some uh, prime minister or someone, they see your track record and they see within your track record you have failed somewhere then only you come to know how to bounce back Mm. so otherwise if you are naturally passing everything you will find that it's so easy today he finds that ACCA was tough if everything he has left in one track no parent will not think that it's a failure but this is my justification it didn't happen in a very bad way it was 48 marks so we उसे instead of taking it that मेरी लाइफ में क्या हो चुका फेलियर आया इन फैक्ट वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग रिवर्स एंड दैट्स अ ब्यूटी ऑफ एनी प्रोफेशनल एग्जाम वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग एएफएम फेल होगा एसबीएल पास होगा अच्छा एंड इट हैपेंड अदर वे अराउंड बिकॉज़ एएफएम पेपर डिसेंबर 22 22 दैट वाज and it was a very difficult paper. I know few chartered accountants appeared for those exam and they literally said that what to do in that paper, which we were not aware. So, we paper a little bit of discuss karte the paper, usne bata, AFM I am not sure about. Hmm. And SBL I am sure that I will get 60 plus. So, hua usse reverse. And then uh, we focused on analysis pe jyada focus kiya, rather than post-mortem. Pe, ke bhi, but he hmm. could understand it early and uh, eventually we uh, analysis karne ke baad, kuch materials ke usne chode the jo usne maine use bataya tha but kya tha ke, uh, skill level tak sare paper easily crack hue the to ab tha ke ye bhi ho jayega aur uske karan usne thoda lightly liya tha aisa mujhe hmm. laga aur uh, uh, uska outcome nikla fir aisa got it actually yeah. i would like to add on this ki ye jo point hai, uh, that he told me that no matter the outcome uh, will uh, will celebrate i think that's the most important thing a parent can say to their kid mm, yeah. because and not only that i remember last paper one okay. day before that paper he told me if you want to stop right now we can stop i ah. said that it, yeah. it's it's exam that you are cracking don't don't take a pressure of it or koi bhi exam tumne ye 13 paper hai last paper hai kal hai I won't ask you a single question. It's your wow. choice, it's hmm. your decision, it's your life. Hmm. So you need to take a call. And he said, no, I want to give because last two papers, otherwise he prepared well. So he was confident. But he SBL me thoda usse aisa dhakka laga tha kyunki life me kabhi failure aaya nahi tha. Ye mere saath kya kyun hua? Jabki maine dekha ki CA me to kitne failures se bine face kiye hoye. So in fact, I can uh, resonate to this very well. So uh, I was actuarial science kar tha, and uh, that's also very tough actually. I mean, there are also many levels. So I cleared six levels. I failed in one level. Ho gaya tha. And at that point in time, that was my first academic failure. This happened what in... What was that age? Uh, so this happened in 2018 uh, when I was 19 years old. 
एंड uh, इसमें फिर uh, मेरे लाइफ में कभी फेलियर नहीं आया था सो आई हैव बिन लाइक रैंक होल्डर थ्रू आउट सो नॉट फ्लॉन्टिंग हेयर बट फाउंडेशन में ऑल इंडिया रैंक सिक्स फिर इंटर में ऑल इंडिया रैंक फाइव फिर उसके बाद सी एफ ए भी दिया तो हमेशा नाइन्टी परसेंट एल से ज़्यादा एंड ये फिर फर्स्ट अकेडमिक फेलियर आ गया एंड इसमें आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू हैंडल दैट एंड अगेन वेरी सिमिलर टू योर स्टोरी सो माई डैड कॉल्ड मी एंड ही वॉज लाइक कि वन मार्क्स शीट इज नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज योर लाइफ आफ्टर अ पॉइंट इन टाइम ये सिर्फ एक कागज़ है ये सिर्फ एक कागज़ का टुकड़ा है तेरे में बहुत ज़्यादा पोटेंशियल है अगर ठीक है ये कागज़ तेरे को पास नहीं बना रहा है इसमें और मेहनत कर इस पर एंश्योर करके ये पास करवाएगा नहीं भी करवा रहा है तो यू कैन डू मच बेटर इन लाइफ सो जस्ट कंसिडर इट एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर समथिंग बेटर दैट इज़ कमिंग इन योर लाइफ ट्रस्ट मी यू वन बिलीव बट दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम आई वुड हैव लाइक लिटरली क्राइड अ लॉट इन द सेंस कि मैं बॉम्बे में था मैं पेरेंट्स के साथ नहीं रहता था हॉस्टल में रहता था एंड माई मॉम डैड देवर इन नासिक एंड आई वॉज लाइक कि मेरे को समझ ही नहीं आ रहा है क्या करना है एंड आई वॉज लाइक इन माई रूम एंड मतलब आई वॉज क्राइंग एंड आई वॉज जस्ट डिसमेंटल कम्प्लीटली बिकॉज दैट वॉज माई फर्स्ट अकेडमिक फेलियर वो टाइम पर सपोर्ट मिलना इज सो क्रूशियल अभी मुझे रियलाइज होता है कि वो सपोर्ट जो मिला था उसके बाद मेरी लाइफ इतनी ईजी हो गई थी दैट इज समथिंग विच आई चेरिश फॉर माई लाइफ टाइम क्योंकि सबसे ज़्यादा डर पेरेंट्स के रिएक्शन का ही होता है कि ये क्या रिएक्ट करेंगे और इसमें ये एग्ज़ाम देना देखो मेरे हिसाब से वेन एवर एनी वन इज़ गेटिंग फेलियर इन एनी ऑफ द प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज दे शुड नॉट बी रिग्रेट ऑफ गेटिंग अ पुअर रिजल्ट दे शुड रादर रिग्रेट ऑफ डूइंग अ पुअर प्रिपरेशन रिग्रेट रिजल्ट तो ऊपर वाले के हाथ में प्रिपरेशन आपके हाथ में थी Yeah. तो उसमें आपने कहीं पे कमी छोड़ी है तो उसके बारे में आपको अफसोस होना चाहिए रादल लोग क्या अफसोस करते हैं मेरा नेगेटिव रिजल्ट है उसका अफसोस अफसोस उस चीज़ का नहीं होना चाहिए उस चीज़ का करो कि जो आपने करना था और नहीं किया था बट यू कैन करेक्ट योर सेल्फ आई कम्प्लीटली अग्री विद दैट वेरी वेरी वेल सेड एंड आई कैन कम्प्लीटली रेजोनेट टू दैट इज वेल दिशन वन को एक क्वेश्चन सो यू ऑल्सो सिक्योर्ड सम रैंक्स इन दीज एग्जामिनेशन Yes, so in the paper of advanced taxation, mm. I got uh, all India rank two and uh, globally ninth rank. Oh wow, that's amazing! And uh, how did you uh, like get ranks as well in terms of like was there any specific secret mantra to that or what was the secret to getting world rank because that's so, something which is phenomenal. So the paper before before that was SBL. So mm. I had just <laughs> face okay. failures. I was I had the drive that I want to do something. Mm. more to uh, balance that out mm. so i started uh, my father or my mentor no one knew that i am having this aim ki is bar rank lana hai ho sake to lana hai so i started preparing in that sense ki rank lane ke liye karna kya padega so i have to not leave out the nooks and corners sare resources dekhne hai uh, the people uh, the resources and everything sab dekhna hai and i have to make sure that i get it so that that drive was there and because of that i was able to do it and mm. uh, if anyone is committed enough they'll get what they want how many hours you used to study while your uh, exams were there i think it varied uh, depending on the preparation time uh, the f- starting few months before the paper i would study more 7 uh, hours or more than that mm. but during then i would like to uh, study a little less even though my father was against that <laughs> so my mindset was that i'm done with everything now so i would mm. like to relax so that i can focus and be completely present when i'm giving my paper but he thought i need to go with everything mm. a lot and so ultimately kiya kya like ultimately you uh, studied somewhere in between <laughs> acha okay so How did you come ये, in the middle ground? It's a change in generation. हमारे yeah. time में last moment तक examination hall में enter होने से पहले तक हम books को हाथ में रखते थे. मैं भी मैं 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 तो दो बजे paper में one forty five तक पढ़ाई करता था. हाँ और और ये शायद ये generation में change आ चुका है कि मैं ये digest नहीं कर सकता था कि यार तेरी exam एक week के बाद है कैसे तू पढ़ाई आज मेरी हो चुकी है ऐसा बोल सकता है. It should be a continuous process rather. ए के अंदर मेरे हिसाब से उसने आ, कुछ सॉरी व्हाट इज ए टी एक्स एडवांस टैक्सेशन जिसके अंदर उसका रैंक आया hmm. वो उसने कुछ स्पेशल उसमें मेरे हिसाब से नहीं किया था लेकिन जो जो मैंने बताया उस हिसाब से वो जो चार्ट बनाया था वो ही फॉलोड इट मेटिकुलसली एंड ए सी के जितने भी रिसोर्सेज थे वो सारे के सारे उसने अच्छी तरह से देखे थे बट आई कैन से दैट इट इज़ मॉर लाइक अ क्रिकेट मैच रिसेंटली वी लॉस दी वर्ल्ड कप नौ आगे आपने बहुत अच्छा विनिंग विक्ट्री हुई दस मैच में दैट डे इज़ नॉट योर डे और दैट डे मे बी योर डे सो इन केस ऑफ ए टी एक्स शायद किसी एस बी एल में प्रिपरेशन ज़्यादा हो सकती थी और हुई होगी बट दैट वॉज एंड हिज डे सो बट वेर इज इन केस ऑफ ए टी एक्स दैट वॉज हिज डे एंड वेर पेपर भी उस हिसाब से अच्छी तरह से वो हैंडल कर पाया प्लानिंग मुझे अभी भी याद है उसने मुझे बताया आई कुड गो थ्रू दी एंटायर पेपर 
जहाँ तक मुझे याद है हर एक एग्जाम तीन घंटे की थी वी यूज टू कीप अ टारगेट ऑफ टू आर एंड थर्टी मिनट्स एंड वो ख़त्म कर ही देता था पहले से प्रैक्टिस ही ऐसे करता था दो घंटे तीस मिनट में ख़त्म करना है बाकी पेपर को बिकॉज आई 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 एडवाइज हिम दैट वेन एवर यू राइट एनी थिंग यू ऑलवेज थिंक ऑफ नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस एंड विच फोर्सिज यू टू कमिट मिस्टेक इन दी ऑन गोइंग सेंटेंस सो तुमसे कोई गलती हो चुकी है वो तुम्हें नहीं पता है जो पेपर चेक करके हाथ में जाएगा तो बेटर है कि अपना पेपर एक बार देख लो ऐसी मिनिमम पांच या सात या दस गलती तुम्हें मिलेगी उसे करेक्ट करके दो तो आपने जो एंटिसिपेट किए वो मार्क्स मिलेंगे रादर देन आपने अदरवाइज अगर दे तो दस या पंद्रह मार्क्स आपके कम ही आते हैं क्योंकि आपको नहीं लगता है कि आपने मिस्टेक किया लेकिन आपने मिस्टेक कर दिया है राइट नो एब्सोल्युटली मेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ सेंस सो आल्सो लाइक हु शुड डू एसीसीए इन योर ओपिनियन लाइक लॉट ऑफ पीपल आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन कि एसीसीए करना किसको चाहिए तो एनी थॉट्स ऑन दैट बेसिकली आई बिलीव दैट इन कॉमर्स देयर आर लिमिटेड ऑप्शंस ग्रेजुएशन पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन वो सभी करते हैं बट दे ऑलवेज लुक फॉर सम प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज प्रोफेशनल कोर्सेज में हमारे पास जो ऑप्शन है वो सी ए सी एस ए सी सी ए एलिजिबिलिटी के एंगल से देखो ना तो ट्वेल्थ के बाद ट्वेल्थ के बाद सी ए सी एस ए सी सी ए पॉसिबल है इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर सी पी ए टी इट वुड भी आफ्टर ग्रेजुएसन ग्रेजुएसन प्लस वन ईयर बिकॉज दे रिक्वायर वन ट्वेंटी क्रेडिट्स सी ए फी भी आप सेकेंड ईयर ऑनवर्ड्स कर सकते हो तो तीन ऑप्शन जो बचते हैं सी ए ए सी सी और सी एस के बीच में उसमें भी ये कोर्स में जैसे मैंने आगे बताया कि इट कैन बी स्टार्टेड अर्ली सो अगर आपको कॉमर्स फील्ड में कुछ करना है वॉट इज़ अ ट्रेंड नाउ इफ इवन इफ यू डू सी ए और इवन इफ यू डू इट्स ए सी सी ए इट्स अ कॉमन नॉट अ फुल स्टॉप सेवेंटीज़ में uh, कोई अगर ग्रेजुएसन कर देता था तो बैंक जॉब मिल जाती थी नाइन्टीज जब मैंने सी ए किया सी ए वॉज इनफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री आई डोंट से दैट सी ए और ए सी सी इज़ इनफ इट्स अ कॉमन नॉट ऑफ फुल स्टॉप सो अगर आपको लंबी जर्नी करनी है सी ए भी करना है उसके बाद भी कुछ करना है थिंक ऑफ समथिंग विच यू कैन स्टार्ट अर्ली सो यू कैन एंड अर्ली एंड दोनों कोर्स बहुत ही अच्छे हैं सी एस भी अच्छा कोर्स है सारे कोर्सेज है आपका पर्सनल इंटरेस्ट क्या है एंड वेन यू वॉन्ट टू गो ग्लोबल देन थिंक ऑफ ए सी सी ए वेन यू वॉन्ट टू स्टे मोर लोकल वॉन्ट टू एंगेज योर सेल्फ इन टू प्रैक्टिस टिपिकल ऑडिट वगैरह ये सब कुछ करना है आई वुड से एनी डे सी एस बैठ तो ए सी सी ए से ग्लोबली जॉब भी मिल सकती है सी एस सी एस इन इन द वन नाइनटी कंट्रीज दैट यू Yeah, it is available everywhere. Subject obviously visa and everything yeah, is yeah. part of it, but uh, the job opportunities are there and it is there on the official portal. Okay. But आज अगर आप उस official portal पर देखो वो jobs है कल वो नहीं होगी दूसरी होगी. So they they update it on a daily basis. Okay, got it. And uh, Dishan, coming back to you, uh, tell me what are your uh, future plans now? You're just 17 and you have done ACC already. Are there any other courses which you want to pursue further, and uh, what ultimately is your objective in life? The first plan is to get my twelfth boards done, which are in the coming March, twenty twenty four. After that, I would like to go for my uh, for, for higher studies at an esteemed university, preferably the Ivy League. And uh, during ACC studies, I was particularly interested in finance. I love that subject. so i would like to pursue cfa sometime in the future and i hmm. think you might be able to guide me better there <laughs> no i mean uh, we take inspiration from people like you so of course we'll be happy to help but uh, i need to take a lot of inspiration from you in my life as well in terms of doing well uh, and uh, on that front itself like uh, you mentioned so you've done ecc and then you want to get into an ivy league and you also want to do cfa right so ultimately how do you think that all these curriculums are helping you in your day to day life and uh, after a point in time like let's say 5 years down the line or 10 years down the line where do you see yourself so i see myself working either as an investment banker or okay. maybe a finance analyst got it yeah. and uh, your dad wants you to do that as well or <laughs> is it something different you should ask uh, where you want to see him after 20 years he would, <laughs> he would say i want to retire after yeah. 20 years okay so uh, yeah i've seen this trend now by the yeah, way yeah, yeah, yeah. like He's people want to retire want to, very early now yeah wants to retire after next 20 years i will work i will earn and uh, my if my needs are limited hmm. they have not seen the further further journey but it's okay otherwise yeah. as and when they are on track being a parent i am happy yeah so, yeah now that makes a lot of sense and how did you manage your uh, exams of acc with your 10th 11th and 12th exams i think that comes down to the priorities that you yeah. said uh, so i had to learn that uh, priorities are very important and i cannot just do everything i cannot focus on my habit ha- mm. hobbies uh, i cannot uh, while simultaneously um, focusing on my academics and still 
hanging out with my friends and watching netflix all of that cannot be done together so mm. i had to figure out what i want to put in my priorities so mm. the first was academic studies that included both acc and school studies and after that i did not have much time to rank down the second third fourth but mm. i would keep uh, I, i play keyboard i have been playing since a decade so that was on uh, number 2 wow. on my list mm. because i love playing that uh, that's a hobby i would keep for life do you play it professionally uh, yeah. no okay yeah, just I... as a hobby Ah, okay got so, it so determining that list mm. and sticking to it is the key the mm. problem which i find that uh, school studies or iske beech mein balance karne mein that is a writing part school studies mein wo likhna hota hai wo pen and paper pe hai aur yahan pe jo hota hai wo sari exam mein wo type so wo dono ke beech mein bhi balance karna wo thoda dikkat rehta hai use but still uh, early jitne challenge aa jaye utne aane chahiye right and uh, now i don't force him for anything whatever he wants to do he, it is okay acc a kar liya to otherwise secured hai but aage bhi maine bola hai ki 22 30 saal tak to minimum padhai karni hai in right. whatever direction you want to do aapko ab itna pata hai acc ke bare mein aap plan kar rahe ho acc ek karne ke liye maine to maine ca kiya doctorate kiya uske baad is and doctorate uh, like phd that is in phd no. that is in uh, forex only oh wow so that's amazing i started in 2004 ended okay. in 2009 okay So you come from a very well-educated family background, and everyone in the family is like stellar, having a stellar profile. <laughs> you have a lot of expectations to meet in the future. I feel <laughs> very, very amazing. So thank you so much, uh, guys, for doing this. It was amazing talking to the two of you, and uh, this is definitely going to inspire a lot of people who are going to watch this. Any last message which the two of you would want to give the entire audience? Um, not a last message, but more like if three, four years down the line, I hear someone. come cracking this earlier than me then i would love to hear that some oh wow that's so sweet of you that's very uh, kind and collaborative mindset you have yes. and not a competitive one uh, i would say that uh, your biggest well wisher in the entire world that is your parents so just try to fulfill their expectation whatever it may be because uh, they love you so much so mm. just try in some way it's not like that every time you can match but still uh, try to help and uh, fulfill their dreams and expectations yeah. this was a message to the students any specific message for the parents also for the parents uh, uh, it's one life so don't force them for anything wow so That's like uh, let them do whatever they want to do mm. till the time they are on a correct track mm. so if they love music uh, i ask him for cricket first he denied then after we went for acca even on a last paper i said that you want to give you don't want to give it's your choice it's your life mm. so let them do whatever they want to do so that should be for the parents just keep a good focus on them and yeah. keep them busy yeah that's a very very brilliant piece of advice i think uh, this is going to inspire a lot of them and uh, trust me this is going to help a lot of them to understand the importance of parenting as well and uh, the importance of uh, guiding your children at this kind of age as well thank you so much once again it was lovely talking to the two of you super inspiring i myself i am i am like super inspired by the two of you thank you so much for doing this hope i could thank do justice you. to your time uh, thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you perfect